My name is Diane Gardner. I often have these dreams. I am a performance artist. I dance. In my dreams, I am happy. I am content. I am alive. Then, I wake up. How is it that I feel more awake while I'm asleep? How does this change?
Diane, you were late today. I know, I'm really sorry. You know, you need to show up on time. When you don't show up on time, things get thrown off and just don't flow smoothly. We need things to flow smoothly. It's important. I understand. I'm really sorry. It won't happen again. You just have to let it all go. When you do, everything will fall into place. You say it like it's easy. It's not. It's not easy at all, actually. But but it's simple. You see, you make you make a decision from your soul on a on a cellular level, and then. It's subtle, but there's a difference, and everybody sees it. Well, that sounds nice. I want to do that. But... No buts. No, no buts. Look, here. Here. Start here. And when you're ready, you'll do it, and... It'll all make sense. And then I'll be able to stay. I just want something more.
Can you make sure this octagon set is underway by the end of the night? You cannot trust anyone who promises a unicorn. That is a unicorn promise. Hey, Kiki. Anyway, do you know the, um, the date of the Octagon site launch? Um... The 21st. Mm. 21st. Yay. Eight different ways to advance your corporate venture. Hooray. <laughs> I hate working at night. This is bull. Yeah, well, at least from home, I guess. <sighs> anyway, I miss you. When am I going to see you again? I don't know. Soon. I have some coffee for you to try. Awesome. All right, well, let me go. Let me try to get done here so I can hopefully get some sleep, and I'm sure I'll hear from you tomorrow. Okay, but remember, save the elephants. I know, always. <laughs> okay, good night. Night. I have these moments where I just wander, I drift, I look around and observe, I soak in the moment of doing nothing but being a little piece of this extremely large puzzle. As I let that happen, the same thought surfaces every time. I am a little tiny piece of a large puzzle, then my actions matter. What I do matters. Things ring in harmony when they are on the right path. So what am I doing?
bacon, egg, and cheese on a plain bagel, please. Okay. Thank you.
Hello? Hey, it's Diane. Hey. Hi. Where are you? <laughs> I'm at your house. What? <laughs> yeah, come over. Make me coffee. <laughs> okay. All right, I'll see you in a few. told me about that dream you had the other night. Yeah? <laughs> I had kind of the same thing. So, I'm a ballerina. I perform. <laughs> and I'll be like walking down the street and people are asking me for autographs and smiling at me because they recognize me. But most importantly, I'm happy. And I have this like sense that I'm doing exactly what I'm meant to be doing. And then reality kicks in. I wake up, usually to my alarm as a reminder of, you're going to a job you don't like. Can you even imagine not having to go to a job you don't like? I guess I can. I don't know, I've had this overwhelming desire to rob a bank recently. <laughs> okay. No, I'm serious. Pull off a heist, take off, start over somewhere new, no questions asked. You can't do things like that. You can't do something bad to get something good. It's never worth it. The whole world thrives off of bad, profits off of bad, it needs bad. It doesn't make it okay. I guess, I just feel like it's the easiest way out sometimes. I'm not looking for an easy way out. I am looking for an out though. I hear you. Look, one day, Things are going to get better. Yeah, but how? I don't know. But when they do, you're definitely someone I want there with me. I'm not here. Sometimes I'm not here. Sometimes I'm not here. That one out? Diane, what is this? You need to make a managerial decision now. What do I do with this? You need to stop slipping up. You know, you need to make sure that the octagon is ready for launch. It is. I won't let it happen again. You better not.
I just want to be happy. Excited about what I'm doing. Is that too much to ask? I went to my favorite diner today to get a cup of coffee. I hadn't been there for a while and it was closed down, locked up. Like everything in this world, it is temporary. It doesn't exist anymore, but maybe one day it will be a new diner. The same thing, but different. Maybe even better. Hopefully better. I guess. Nothing quite like my coffee in the French press. You do make great coffee. There's really nothing quite like it. Filling the kettle, putting it on the stove, grinding the beans, waiting for the water to boil, and then pouring it over nice and slow. <laughs> and then just waiting. Push that filter down and you're ready to go. But seriously, there are things you can do that don't cost a lot of money. We're sold this idea that we can't do anything unless it's expensive. Their way is by plugging into the system, following by their rules, and then everything costs too much money and then nobody can do anything. Like what? Well, art is one example. I mean, I know artists that don't have any money, but they do lots of innovative things and it's simply because they don't have the money and they're forced to be innovative. Yeah, I do know people like that, but isn't the end result simply what is best? So should we even judge based on a weighted scale? I think so, and I also don't think we should be judging art. Let's just go past art. It's anything. Eating healthy. They tell you that you can't eat healthy because it costs too much money. Well, it does. Yeah, but that's the idea that you're sold. You can have your own garden and have as many fresh fruits and vegetables as you want. That costs less. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you do have a point. They do force this idea down our throats that things have to be a certain way and you have to follow a certain set of rules. That's what I'm saying. We can change. Yeah, we can rob a bank. <laughs> Stop that! You can't do that. Why not? Maybe it's not bad. Maybe it's good. Maybe we've just been sold this idea that we can't do it. Yeah, like it's a test. Think about it. They have to give you the money, right? I mean, if you just give them a note, you don't even have to pull a gun out. It's kind of like winning the lottery. Whoever's brave enough to do it ends up with the money. 
There are consequences. Like what? The fear you're going to put in people at the bank. That's traumatizing. Then you have to walk around looking over your shoulder. They track people down. I don't know. I'll just take off. Go to Tuantaneo. Disappear. Excuse me, miss. Would you like to see the show? Where? Right here, of course. But you don't have an audience. You are my audience. Do you really want to perform for just one person? Of course. Why? It just seems like a lot of effort. But I love it. And you may love it. You may have a better day because of it. Or you might just feel happy. Well, that's an interesting perspective. It's better to have a small, focused, authentic audience than just to have the vague attentions of the masses. That's true. They say youth is wasted on the young. It's not youth. As we get older, we lose our desire to rebel, to revolt. revolt.
Take me away. Take me away. and technology it's all so cool it's so cool and now we're watching on a smartphone could you even imagine what tesla would be thinking <laughs> right now you literally just read my mind i mean it's such a shame that not more people know about tesla it's mind-blowing that edison is like this household name and you say tesla and people look at you funny or they're like oh you mean like the car <laughs> or like the band Do you remember when we broke in through that hole in the fence at Wardenclyffe? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when I found out about that place. It was there all along, overgrown, hidden in plain sight. It's so symbolic. Well, I found out about Tesla through a movie, <laughs> The Prestige. <laughs> Friggin' movie with fictional magicians and David Bowie, rest his soul playing Tesla, and I'm watching and I'm just thinking, I know who that is. So I start researching, and then when you told me about Wardenclyffe, oh my god, I was so excited. It's just one of those things. One of those messed up things. Like working for a corporate general. <laughs> what, uh, what do we do there exactly? We do what most corporations do. We make people think that ease and consolidation is better. Oh god, it's so wrong. Oh, and don't forget, we make people feel safe. <laughs> I never would have guessed in college that you and I would both be doing this. I mean, we had all these dreams and plans and goals. And you, you were this kid that just stood out. What? You were. Oh, come on, I noticed it as soon as I saw you. Okay, maybe by the end of class. But it was subtle, and you were just floating and you had this thing about you and I just knew I had to be your friend. Thank you. <laughs> I remember thinking you were really cool. <laughs> I remember you telling everybody, we're all just cage elephants in a circus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, and we still are. I really, I really think that that would be something that I would love to do. That's, it's like my dream, just to unleash truth on people. You know, I could see that, you being that crazy lady, but you're really just speaking the truth. <laughs> see, and that's why I'd want to be like a famous singer or something, because you get all these people to love you, and then you use that attention to get people to listen to real things. Well, basically the way you were back when. Yeah, but... It was college. It wasn't real. It was a controlled environment. It's not real life. Well, why can't it be? Because I worry way too much. I worry about health care and benefits and a consistent paycheck. I mean, people in college, they have the ability to just think freely. And then, of course, they graduate into real life and they just follow along. It's a corporate general! <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I do too. But you, you could do it. Do what? Whatever you want. I mean, you have that thing. You are that person. You just, you need to see it. You need to believe it. I don't even know what you're talking about. There are people that cannot walk this normal line. They're weird. I mean, you're weird. 
Thanks a lot. No, oh, I mean it in a good way. It's it's a combination of things. It's it's skill and talent and temperament and and this little bit of arrogance. And I really feel like if you had that arrogance, you'd be gone. Okay. Dude, they split us up at work. Do you know why? Yeah. They needed someone of your, of your caliber to run the New York City division. Oh, please. That is what they said. They knew that I kept you awake. That I kept you from being a drone. Well, you did. And that's a good thing. No. They... They saw that the longer that you were awake, the more you would gain that arrogance and that, and you would start to see things. But I know that you are so close to gaining that arrogance. And once you do, once you find that belief in yourself, you're not even going to have to tell me. I'm just going to know. And how are you going to know? Because I'm going to call your cubicle one day, like I do every day, asking you a question, except you won't be there. It's going to be somebody else. And I'm going to say, Where's Diane? And this voice on the other end of the phone, like a fucking robot, is going to say, I'm sorry, Diane is no longer here. No further information is available. Can I answer any questions you may have? And I'm just going to hang up and drink my coffee and smile. you love? Do you do it because you want attention? You want to get noticed? Do you do it because you want to be rich? Famous? Or is it something more? Something deeper? Something that speaks to your soul and says, if I didn't do this, I wouldn't really be living at all. So what's up with you lately? What do you mean? You're a big asset to CG, but lately you just seemed a little... unmotivated? I know. I'm sorry, it's just... I've been here so long, and I know it's a good job and everything, but... But what? It is a good job. And you're an important way of how the wheel goes around here. You do a good work. What else do you want from life? I don't know. I just... I don't know. Look, I get you've been interested in other things. In fact, I had HR look into it a bit. You what? Within the legal limitations, of course. Listen, I just want to be the voice of reason. I know you have this desire to do more. I get it. I was there once. You were? Yeah. I wanted to be this DJ and go all over the world and conquer things and go places and do stuff. And I got this job here as a bridge to pursue my dream. But it's only a dream. 
It is not real. It's for the privileged. It's for the ones that don't need to pay bills, don't need to be normal. It's like the secret society that decides it all. Even if it isn't, it's way too hard. I know. I, I know it's hard. I get it. And that all makes sense. But don't you just think we should be pursuing something that we're passionate about? That's important too. I think there's more to the world and I'm really interested in figuring that out. That's great. But that's for after hours. That's for the weekends. And I know you stay late sometimes, but you can do it. I actually, because I just feel completely consumed by this job. That's not bad. It pays for all the good stuff in your life. I just don't feel alive. Look, you just need to change your perspective. Think about CG as your friend. Think about me as your friend. We're here for you. Okay, well, can I tell you something about myself then from when I was younger? I mean, it might make you understand me a little bit better and make a connection to how I'm feeling. Absolutely. Well, I used to... Oh, hold on, wait a second. I'm sorry, it just popped up to my mind. Did you finish that seventh part of the octagon? Is it all flashed out? Yeah. Cool. Alright. I'm sorry. I really need to take this. Hello? Hi. Yes, it needs to get done. No, it doesn't matter what they think. No, in the end, they'll just go with it. Listen, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to go back to corporate and I'll meet you back there, okay? change is coming, but be careful at night. Thank you. What is all that? What? So you're serious? You're actually serious? Yeah, I've been telling you. I thought you were joking! Why would I be joking? This is a legitimate option to an exit. It's not an option. Why do you keep saying that? Look, I'm not like you. What is that supposed to mean? You have this dream where you think you can create your own reality and make something of your life. Meanwhile, you're too afraid to walk out the door. I'm not afraid. Things take time. Time I don't have. <sighs> Look, I need to make a change. 
for me. We have time. We can do this together. Yeah, you can help me. We can do this together. Look, I'm gonna tell you something that you might not wanna hear. The world is a fucked up place. You think it can change? You have hope? That's all bullshit. You can walk around pretending like that's not true, but you know it is. Deep down in your gut, there's something holding you back, keeping you working at corporate general. The world is never gonna change. You have to. This is the way. It's not the way. I don't want change like this. You talk about wanting to feel alive? Well, this is it. This is enlightenment. Us versus the system. This can be the change to something better. This is where you leave. Diane. Please? Please do this with me. Get out. Get out! What's this? It's a cup of coffee. Sometimes you just need a good cup of black coffee. Thanks, kid. Just do it. Just do it. Excuse me? Just do it. You're longing for something. You want more. Just do it. How do you know? I know that look. I know that feeling. I've seen it before. You aren't really living if you're not pursuing your dreams. But it's so hard. I don't even know where to start. Life is hard. So what? Remember these words. People often wait for a path. But the path doesn't appear. Unless you take the steps. Let's do it.
I'm doing it. No. Yes. I have to. Why? I just do. Okay. Do it with me. I can't. Why not? It's not my path. Okay. So, this is it. Yes. Listen to me, Diane. Listen. Do you remember where I said I would go? Yeah. Maybe you'll meet me there? Maybe. Goodbye, Diane. Goodbye, Tracy. Won't you come 
with me, there's a rocket ship It's waiting to leave, there's a rocket ship Won't you come with me? Everyone's weird now, everyone's weird Everyone's weird now, hey Everyone's weird, everyone's weird now Everyone's weird, hey Everyone's weird now, everyone's weird, everyone's weird now, 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 everyone's